Your improv game will be daytime talk show. Your street performance is graffiti wall art. The situation, you meet a superhero. And the setting is in a fire truck museum. You will have one minute to prepare your sketch. Your minute begins now.
go on a golf course that's underwater. And they're having so much fun that we want to like Okay, paddling yeah. underwater. Ooh. Okay, so we're going to have, um, we just we all, go, we all go broken, but we're all like afraid of the water because we keep swimming. Um, but we have to swim because we've got fins, right? And then in order to fix this, we go, we go caroling because it's such a like human landish thing to do. Okay, you stop. Mm -hmm. And now we're ready to see your two minute performance. Is the audience still ready? Yeah. yeah. About the team, are you still ready? We're waiting. We're waiting. We're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> And the praisers, are you ready? May the elements be ever in your favor. Okay. <laughs> you may begin now. Standing Stones calls this unexpected. New York Stops calls it. I don't really know how to sum it up in one sentence, so I'm just going to say, <laughs> meh. <laughs> Starring Benedict Meowerbatch. <laughs> Stephen Hawking's. <laughs> Monk Matt. <laughs> and a side character. <laughs> wow, isn't it such a beautiful day on this golf course? I mean, you're doing amazing at this tournament. Yeah. Hard. Oh my gosh, what's I, happening? I've grown it. Oh no, I have fins, I have fins! Even the narrator has fins, what's going on? <laughs> Mind blown. Guys, okay. you have to get in water quickly. But, but this wasn't it supposed to happen in the movie, I guess. Water heroes we go into the water to get away from it. We able to move well. But I'm scared of the water, there's going to be alligators. And, and sharks? How, how would we get rid of this? Alligator sharks! <laughs> Um, let's just, let's just start caroling, maybe they'll go away, but I heard on the news that sharks are now afraid of caroling. And, oh, and also, isn't that such, like, don't land people do that? Yeah, and if that doesn't work, we can go to that scientist's house and maybe he'll, like, use Chop his off. kindness to, like, Chop them off. And then yeah. they, then just carol. Oh, then they oh, soup okay. out them. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got to start caroling. We wish, we wish you a merry old day. We wish you a merry old day. We wish you a merry old day and a happy ocean. <laughs> well, the sharks definitely went away, and I think the fins are going away. I think we should really. Okay. And now I'm ready to read you your improv elements for your third sketch. Your improv game is freeze tag. Your street performance is fortune telling. <laughs> The situation. You can't find the money that you hid from your sibling. And the oh. setting. You are in a motorcycle factory. Your one minute begins now. Uh, a, you, I'm going to be the village monkey, and I'm going to be uh, the guy who owns a motorcycle museum because a uh, uh, four year old brother that just makes sense for him to own a motorcycle factory. How yeah, about okay. the first skit, we have you two hiding money from each other, <coughs> and then the second skit is working in a motorcycle factory like the Discovery Channel documentaries. <gasps> and then having a five horse Okay, so oh, that will be the, well, the you're the you actually going to the fortune teller to ask for your brother to hit your money, and I'm actually the fortune teller, so I actually misguide you because I don't want you to find the money. I can be the fortune teller, except I'll be like one of those scam ones. That yeah. way it'll be less and I'll pay you to uh, give him the wrong fortune okay. so, so he won't get the money. You two go in first, and then we'll be out, and then I will tell you the fortune that I have. Okay. 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 <laughs> Your two minutes begins now. Oh no! Pluto will never find his money. I'm totally hiding in an open spot because he's a little. <laughs> Freeze. I am 
fortune teller who always tells the truth. Doesn't say that on the wall over there. Don't look at the wall, Jack. <laughs> okay. What would you like to know? Where is my brother? <laughs> okay, so I've been in this motorcycle place for like four years now, and I have lost so much money, and it's about to go downhill. But I left my money in my bag, and now I can't find it. Where's the telling me help? Child, I can see where your money is. <laughs> Two boys have taken it by accident. It's a very complicated story, but we won't go into that. And one boy's hidden it from the other. And then the other person's looking for it. And it's really complicated. But it is really. As you can see here, we have our motorcycle factory. Here we have the manager. Now, what do you think about how this motorcycle factory is running? Well, ever since that fortune teller told us where to find that money that we lost, we've been doing amazingly. I mean, like, people used to, like, buy all those Harleys, but now they buy ours, Charlie's. Is there any other things you want? Well, any other things I want? Well, I could give you two million dollars. Um, 